What's going on YouTube? It's James Quick from Learn, Build, Teach. I wanna start by saying formatting your code is a pain. I don't worry about formatting my own code and neither should you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up auto formatting in your code with Visual Studio Code and Prettier. All right, so I'm over here in basically just kind of a dummy JavaScript file. Uh, and notice I've got kind of a mix of things that don't look that great, to be perfectly honest. Uh, one, this object, usually you see this uh, where the last bracket is kind of wrapped on a new line. I've got a mix of single quotes and, or single quote, or these are backticks actually, but single quotes here and double quotes up here. Uh, I've got a missing parenthesis here, um, missing a little bit of spacing. Uh, between the uh, variable person and the bracket here. Anyway, that's the kind of stuff that like you should just type your code and let a formatter take care of for you. And that's what we're gonna use Prettier to do today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my extensions. And if I scroll down, I've got a, uh, an extension installed in VS Code called Prettier Code Formatter. And this is basically gonna take care of a lot of stuff for us. It's gonna be super cool. So what you'll need to do is go ahead and install this extension in VS Code. Once you have that thing installed, if you open up your settings and you can go to the settings wheel down here and then settings or uh, control comma on, on Windows or command comma on a Mac. And if you just give a search for format or not format for prettier, you can see all the different settings for prettier uh, for what, you, what it will and can do for you. So arrow parentheses, we'll look at this in a second. Things like, let's see here, what's a big one? Uh, single quotes, and that's in JSX, the width of your code, the uh, requiring semicolons, whether or not every line should end in a semicolon, single quotes versus double quotes, tab width, all this sort of stuff is really cool. Now what I want to show you is there's one more setting. To then take advantage of this, you probably want to have format on save checked, and this is specifically editor format on save, so make sure you got the right one. So as I check this box and then come back over to my app.js file, as I save this, some magic happens, a lot really cool magic actually. So uh, because I've decided to use single quotes, now all of my quotes, except for the back ticks, are uh, single quotes, not double. I got uh, the last piece of this person object wrapped to its own line. I got the spacing put back in here, which is super cool. Um, and then also, I mentioned this a second ago, so there is a setting one of the earlier ones in Prettier, let's open that back up, is uh, arrow parens. So when you have an arrow function and you only have one parameter, and this is an arrow function here, if you only have one parameter, it doesn't have to have parentheses. It can, they're optional basically, you can or cannot. So if I change this maybe to say, always have those parentheses and then come back to my JavaScript file and save, notice now I get these parentheses here, super cool. And then let's scroll down and let's just look at a few more things here. Let's look at maybe tab width. If I go from two to eight, come back to my file and save this, we should see our, our tabs jump in to eight or 10, whatever the num amount of characters that I selected was. We probably don't wanna keep that forever, so let's change that back to two. And then uh, let's look at things. Um, I actually like using tabs for indentation. If I save this, it'll go back to the two and then now we've got a tab here instead of spaces. So with Prettier in VS Code with just one extension and a little bit of configuration you can do all within the, the settings of VS Code, you can have all of your code formatted absolutely almost perfectly uh, every time you save a file. So you just type your code, don't worry about what kind of quotes you're using, don't worry about spacing, don't worry about semicolons, just write your code and then let uh, Prettier take care of the rest for you to make sure it's consistent and looks good and is readable. So one last thing that I wanna show you really quickly is that this also works in CSS. So if I've, uh, I've got some kind of malformatted CSS here, this bracket usually uh, wraps, this line will usually wrap to a new line. I don't have an ending semicolon on this one and that line should really wrap. So if I go ahead and save this, it will go ahead and format not only the JavaScript that you just saw, but uh, CSS as well, which is pretty, pretty sweet. There's lots of other things you can customize in there. You definitely wanna have some auto formatting as part of your workflow. It'll save you time in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video on setting up Prettier in VS Code, and I will see you in the next one.
Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out learnbuildteach.com to sign up for the newsletter to learn about my latest content. Thanks for watching.